Welcome to the next installment of the ISO GPS mini series. Today we're going to talk about datums. In instances where we use ISO GPS to measure a distance or specification that involves multiple surfaces, datums must be utilized. Datums are theoretically perfect surfaces that are defined in reference to an existing feature on a model. Therefore, the surfaces they are referencing are still allowed under GDT practices to have variation, but this variation will not affect the outcome of a measurement due to the perfect nature of a datum. Datums are represented using the triangle attached to a surface, as you can see. Now, when we use multiple datums, they are ordered as primary, secondary, and tertiary. And each of these datums controls different degrees of freedom depending on their order. In our example here, we have a position tolerance with the datum reference frame CAB. Our datum C, this surface at the front here, controls the three degrees of freedom that we see on our drawing. TX, RX, and RY. Our second datum A controls two degrees of freedom, TX and RZ. Our final tertiary datum controls one degree of freedom, TY. We do not always have to control all six degrees of freedom with our datum reference system, but in certain cases we would like to. This primary, secondary, and tertiary logic is covered in more detail in our ISO GPS basics course. So if this isn't familiar to you and you would like to use ISO GPS in your designs, we would recommend checking that out. Okay, so how does this work when we have our part? Let's say we have a primary datum A and a secondary datum B. We want to first face up our part onto datum A and then onto datum B. This is really important because if we do it the other way around, we might see different results when we have actual variation applied to our part. And when we, if we were to use primary datum B and secondary datum A, we would get different results. So this is really important for inspection repeatability. It allows us to say that our part is faced up onto one surface first, and then a second surface once it's been attached to that one, and which degrees of freedom are controlled where. We discuss this in more detail in the course, as I mentioned. So, datums and datum reference frames allow us to define orientation and location tolerances as relative to another surface. They allow repeatable inspection without ambiguity and allow us to communicate much more complex requirements than we would be able to without using ISO GPS or datums. Thank you very much.